So here's one, and this is this will help everyone understand this. So as we go to hit the ball, okay, the assu okay, assuming the ball is coming straight towards me, so there's no incident or reflected angle. So take that out of the equation. That's right. So here's how we understand the relationship between path and angle, okay? Whichever one has more energy is what the ball is going to listen to. So imagine if I have a friend who's talking to me and a friend who's yelling at me. I'll hear this person and I won't hear that person because they're just dominating. Does that make sense? So if I go to hit a ball and I have my strings facing this way, where should the ball go? It should go that way. And if I hit, now my racket, let's say, is going that way. So I'm swinging like this, okay? If I do that slowly, the ball will go over there, okay? It'll go to that side of the court. But if I increase the speed of my racket sufficiently, the ball will ignore my strings and it will just go over there because that's where my racket's going. So I'll do a better one. And we can tell I hit the inside of the ball because the ball has that spin. The ball is rotating this way. There's no way I could hit that side of the ball and make the ball rotate in this direction with my racket moving forward. Does that make sense? So again, if I go slowly, the path tried to make the ball go this way, but the speed wasn't sufficient, so the ball went over there. But as I swing faster, the ball is just going to follow my racket and go that way. So this becomes important when you're teaching people to volley. ready in case I miss the volley. It's going to be a hit. hit a ball kind of fast. Hit it fast. The ball comes, this is what happens, I just block and it went this way. Does that make sense? So to control that, I just go ahead, I have to turn my strings like this, and then the ball still went cross, even though my strings are facing there, okay? Or, I increase the speed of my racket. And if I swing forward, even though my strings were here, the amount of deflection was less. Does that make sense? Okay. That's an important relationship because that'll help you. Like, you need to understand that. Okay. Who else hasn't gone yet? Are you the last one? Just you two? You two. Okay. So let's go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right. You're right. Okay. Everyone back over there. There you go. Oh, you need to go. Everyone has to go. We'll be right on time. Okay. And what directly determines underspin? So, at the ball, making contact underneath the ball, and so a theoretical and question for everybody at the end. You determine if you pass or fail. Um, so, okay. we have to just do it <laughs> okay. like a, a multiple choice question. They practice just put any edge underneath the ball, making contact underneath. They can initially put. Uh, underspin on the ball, if they increase the speed of their racket or uh, the length of their swing, then they can drive the ball farther and still have underspin. Um, so that's what the directly What was the question? What was the directly determined? Underspin. Underspin, so there's, it's, so the, the quantities are it's the angle of the strings. Yep. The... I mean, contact underneath the ball. Edge the okay, so that's the angle of the strings. Yep. And you said something about the path of the racket? The path of the racket, And yep. then there's one other quantity? Uh, the speed. The speed, yep. Right? So it's the pass. Right? Perfect. Excellent. Who else has to go still? Okay, we yeah. have oh, Which one are you doing? Uh, the younger spin going up. Can I use okay. Right yeah. Burns, right? right. Yep. All right, so oh, good with that. Yeah, I just want to say. Spin and the ball goes way up instead of going a bit lower. Uh, two factors that you can change uh, to keep the ball a bit lower. So if you're if you, the path of your racket and the angle of the face of your racket is like that and it's steady and the ball goes up, one thing you can change is the uh, path of the racket, so go more from high to low and the ball will go slightly uh, lower or you can increase the speed and then you can still keep the spin, under spin, a lot of under spin, but the ball will 
just stay low. And as a third one, you could also have the option of changing the decreasing the angle slightly. Not so much that it becomes flat, but that's, you're correct? There are but, two. There is, but there's, there's also a third one. I know, just right? Like, you only have to two, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm just adding. No, but you, you were exactly 100% right. So, so just, there's and another all, one. All three could, are important. All three yeah. are important. Yeah. Can so we guys still have oh, No problem. No, so like, you were asked for two, you got two, but there is another one as long as the same. Uh, who else has to go? Kirill, let's go. Perfecto. Andy, I have one question for the group at the end, okay? Yes, yes. Just this is Perfect. this is determining if they pass or fail the, okay. the program today. Come on. Very good, yeah. very good. Then have to keep serve. <laughs> uh, first you want to make sure that Multiple you choice break questions. it and go properly. It has to be straight. You don't want to hit the ball open or outside. Second, you want to make sure the toss. That should be not left. It should be in front of you and a little bit on the right side. And you have to hit the ball outside and to keep racket with straight angle. And then you have to accelerate. It's a really bad example. <laughs> it's not my call, but I will try again. We toss and then... Yes, if it's happened, you toss a little bit left. This is will happen every time you hit the ball to the net. It's happening with me sometimes, so I'll try to again. And I will show them my call, I can serve slice. It's a bad racket, sorry, I can't slice. <laughs> the example was good, but the racket is bad. That's all on camera right this there. Is the well, oh, who else, who else still has to go? Is this is Lee. 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 Bring it, which one have you got? So it's a body shot, so we can all go closer to the Well, oh, actually, hang on. Is there one more before Bodo? Everyone's been? Everyone. Bozo, let's go up to the net. Bodo's the last one. What do you want me to do? Uh, yeah, so hey, one sec, just make the picture. So what, what was the one? Two here? What is it that uh, happens? As a player playing a body shot, and he aim it as an angled one, yeah. I always go outside. Okay. So he needs to do uh, a thing to control the ball more, yep. and make it land into the court. Perfect. So I would say the wrong shot is going this way, I would see if the racket would be going in a level. Yeah. Maybe the one thing we need to work on is an underspin, so he can decrease the distance, because we want to work on the distance. Okay, so, so use underspin to decrease the speed of the ball? Yes. Okay. So it will go lower this way, so the ball can go shorter and be in the ball. Yeah. And Careful. the second thing, you can work on the speed. So the acceleration or dropping the racket there, with the less speed, would make the ball also go into the court. Might, might, maybe. I mean, if you decrease the speed, oh, yeah. correct. Yeah. So you, you could, you could, you could, you could, if you change the path of the racket towards the ball, you might be able to decrease the speed. But that's kind of the same one you just said the first one. Like, it, it's going to end up spin? producing more spin. Yeah. If you do this, it's going to produce more spin. It's sort of the same effect. Okay. Third. Was, was, was the question if you didn't change the angle? Two things. Could you change the angle? No, don't change the angle. Yeah. Got it, you can be angle the same? Yeah. yeah. So then what's, what's the other one you could do? When you, you want to make the ball go faster or slower, what could you do? The ball comes through, yes, you could, yeah, you could so absorb some slower. energy. Yes. Right. That's a decelerate? Yes. Or? Yeah, you decelerate the ball by absorbing some energy by allowing the ball, the, the ball to push your racket back away. Yeah. But I don't think you can combine two. The well, you, yeah, you can, you can, yeah, well, you can do one or the other. Yes. Right, do one, and or then the other way is that way. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good? Good. All right, so do we want this on tape or do we want to? Yeah, this will be fun. All right. Okay. So give, give Brandon the mic. Okay, so this is a multiple choice question. Okay, listen up. Price is right to It's just, it's, this doesn't necessarily happen, but it's in theory, okay? So let's assume the path of my racket is this way, okay? The angle of my racket is like this and the speed is consistent, okay? So all three are the same. No, sorry, let me start. Let me start with the question. The question is, which spin will make the ball travel the furthest? Will have the longest distance, okay? No, no, hold on, hold on. Assuming that the speed and path are stabilized, okay? So the speed is the same, so I'm swinging at 50 miles an hour, and I'm swinging the same path, one ball has top spin, one ball is flat, and one ball is back. So this spin. assumes the ball travels the same height over the net. Yeah. Right? Same height over the net? Same yes. height. The distance okay. that the ball Which one will produce the furthest distance? So if you, think it's, if you think it's top spin goes the furthest, then stand here. 
If you think it's flat, goes the furthest, stand here. And if you think it's backspin, then go there. Would you repeat it again? Yeah. So the, the height, the height is the exact same in all three spins. Okay. The path is the same. Okay. And the speed of my swing is the same. So all of those variables are the same. And one ball is spinning with top spin. One is going flat, and then one is spinning backspin. Which which one will travel the furthest? Okay. Yeah. So with the with the top flat, no spin. No spin stays here. Top spin goes so the there. Spin Under spin goes there. Okay. No, I said the path is the same. Because I can still produce top spin doing this. I can produce underspin doing this. I can produce flat doing this. We have back spin, flat, top spin. I don't know if I've Oh, Guys, underspin is impossible. You will pay. <laughs> so you're going flat? Definitely not underspin. So these are all flat people? Shift over a little bit water. Okay. Just because you're in front of the these camera, all that's all. Backspin people? Yeah. Top and the other side? Top spin. Yeah. You can say that. Top spin, we can go there. Yeah. You fail, guys. Mike? Which one are you going for? This is the distance. Which one increases? Which so one? So imagine, 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 imagine you have a machine. Or the bounce. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's say it's a let's say it's a ball. Yeah, before the bounce, before the bounce, before the bounce, anywhere from contact to bounce. I'll go with that. Nah, so we, had ball ball machine, we had a ball machine. Right? We had a machine that could send the ball exactly the same way. Right, and it could send it the same height, the same speed coming out of the machine. I know, I know. It goes further. Oh, oh, it's such a ball machine. <laughs> underspin. <laughs> the right the under underspin. You fail. Wait. Underspin. Yes. No, no, wait. That's the right answer. I saw it. I one that angle take away from the... Yeah, Wait, hang on, hang on, let's... Uh, I think uh, have a transition ball. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. But I guess well, no, they're saying before the bounce. So let's just wrap this up. Okay, so like so our flat ball would bounce. Thanks for taking the time. And we're going to progress this. If you want to spend a little more time on the stuff you did in the first hour, I feel like the ball control knowledge has improved a fair bit. I think everyone kind of gets this more. It's really important that you understand your ball controls because Ultimately, if you're watching your player play and you want to make a change in what they do, you have to say, well, because ultimately it's about, here's what the ball did, here's what the ball should have done, how do I affect the difference? You need to understand your ball controls to be able to then give them that information. Does that make sense? Perfect. So, next we want to improve our ability to get that information out in a group training session to make sure people are enjoying themselves. Yeah? So we're going to work to the skill where we all have the ability to run the drill, kind of a, where we got to at the end in an improved way. Yes? Fantastic. I turn this off. Yes, Argue, people. Go ahead.